Okay, so for this problem, it says that a company has liabilities that requires to make payments at a thousand at the end of the each five years. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then it says that um, requires to make payments of a thousand. Right now, it also says so they see so they give us all these investments to finance these cash flows, and the company is able to purchase as many of, as each investment as he wants, but only in whole units. The company's investment objective is to be fully immunized. Okay, so what's the lowest cost of cost? Okay, well, let's see here. Um, well, one of the options is a uh, price of 1500 to finance 500 at the end of each year for five years. So, okay. Now this is only 500 at the end of each year for five years. So we would have to pay for two of these investments to make that happen for a thousand each year. So that would be 2J, which would be two times 1,500, which would be worth 3,000, okay? Next one is K500, 1,000 at the end of year five. Okay, so that is just only 1,000 for year five that's taken care of. And for investment L, 1,500 at the end of each year for four years. Okay, but then we would still have to buy another one to make it a full thousand. And it's only for four years. So if I could do 2L, which is a representative of 2000, right? And then, uh, Okay, and then 500, and then it could coincide with a thousand that's covered at the end of year five. So plus K, which would be 2,500 in total for this bunch. Now for this one, it says investment of them um, 4,000 at at the end of each year for five years. Okay, that's fully covered at a price of 4,000, right? So if we try to look back, I mean, this is already taking care of everything. This isn't, but would it make a sense to put it with this one? So the combinations that I've made so far are correct. So now I just have to choose the cheapest price. So this one's not it, this one's not it. This one seems to be the cheapest. So that is why C is gonna be the answer.